Hello, welcome back to Engineer's Guide. Today we are going to talk about the aerosol systems and we are going to use the Simplex Suppression Panel 4004R. That is the model number. This is the aerosol control panel. Okay, so we're going to explain the overview of it to you. Um, and from here is the releasing circuit. We have two releasing circuits plus the NAC. NAC 1 and NAC 2 then we have the zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 and zone 5 as the IDC and here we have the SPM as the manual release and the abort switch and the pressure switch also as well and this board here small here is another um, circuit board that we use for the alarm to just for the release the supervisory in case you want that one and this is the overview of it this is the zones zones up to zone one to zone four we have the alarm silence this is the power this is acknowledge alarm silence we acknowledge to just mute the system the reset button also as well and when you look straight up here also we have the battery and um, it's and the battery and this is the power supply the power supply is 240 volts with a fuse of three amps like that yes and so that is the overview of the board and this is the manual pull station with its enclosure because it's outside we don't want it to just um get rusty just the sun or to just be pulled by someone and this is the abort switch of which we use mainly when it's on the second pre-alarm stage we press to just stop or to just abort the system to reset the timing this is the bell the evacuate light and this is the horn strobe light this is the evacuate light which activates on the first alarm stage and this is the aerosol generators that we've arranged according to um, the volume of the room so it's being calculated then the, vo um, the volume of the generators are also being calculated so like this one that we're looking at is 5700 grams okay and that has been put all over the room so as for it to be able to extinguish in case there is fire whenever there is this activation then it will just extinguish by itself onto this um, this is an MV room onto the control panels there so that are the overview of the generators and this system also it has trenches also as well and the trenches um, the detect uh, we also put generators there and it also has detectors also in the trenches so the detectors also has um, has remote indicator of which when there is an activation it will just show that there is an activation the remote indicator is what is going to just alert you so this is the remote indicator the simplex remote indicator is connected to the smoke detectors and the heat detectors that are in the trenches okay so it's very accessible uh, very easy to just know whatever that is happening and here this is the whatever that is happening and here this is the testing kits that we're going to use to test the aerosol system this is a smoke tester and it is um detector this is solo that is what we call the detector testers it's solo it's very good in operation so now we're going to activate the first stage that is the smoke detector so whenever we activate the smoke detector we will have the bell ringing and the evacuate now gas lights will just also light on so this is the first stage alarm whenever it's being activated okay so wherever that the evacuate lights are it's being connected and on the panel you're gonna see that there is a zone activation that is zone one activated okay so when you look at it you will just see like that okay and this is what we are going to use to test our heat okay this is we will use to test the heat okay so the heat tester this is it and this is the test fire thousand okay 
and this is what we are going to use to it's very good so it has smoke and it has heat but mainly i use it in testing of heat and that is the heater that is inside there to just heat the detectors whenever you want to use okay so without much time wasting we will just test also the heat okay so now whenever you see the green light blinking it means it's act okay so now it has been activated the heat detector has been activated so the second stage has been activated so now with this stage if you would want to abort the system you can just go and press the abort so as for it to reset the countdown okay this system can just reset the countdown and come back to 30 okay so now it's on the second zone uh, second stage alarm and it's cross zoning so now we are checking because we don't want to release the aerosol we will just check with multimeter okay so now it has released so and we are getting supply here as at 25 volts okay so